Hello! A happy and healthy day to our beloved learners. I am Teacher Levy, your teacher in the first episode of the subject music for grade 6. Are you ready, children? Very good! Let us now start! Here is the objective of our lesson. Identify simple musical forms of songs from the community. And these are some things you need to remember. Listen and watch well. Understand what the teacher is saying. Prepare paper and pen that can be used to record important concepts of our lesson and to answer the exercises. And these are our guide questions. Number one, what are the different simple musical forms? Number two, how are the musical forms different from each other? Oh, do you know the song Leron Leron Sinta? Yes, I believe that you know this song. Shall we sing it? And while singing, please observe its structure. Was there a change in melody? Form is the basic structure or design of a piece of music. Form in music can be identified by giving a letter designation to each prominent musical idea and noting the order in which these ideas appear and are repeated. A musical form is divided into different parts or sections or stanzas. Some stanzas in musical piece are repeated. A musical form is identified by its melody. A single section of music consisting of phrases can be labeled A. This musical section can be repeated to create an A A A form. The song Leron Leron Sinta has an A A A form. Another musical section of the musical piece that is very different from A is labeled B. Sections that are not like A or B are labeled as C and so on. A song may have A A A, A B, A B A, A B A C A form and so on. The following are some simple musical forms commonly found in songs or musical pieces. So the first one is unitary or strophic form. This is the simplest musical form. A song has a unitary or strophic form or AAA form if all the verses or stanzas are sung to the same melody, rhythm, and harmony for all the stanzas. It is also called one-part form. A strophic form is where sections or stanzas are identical or at least very close musically. Each verse of the song is musically the same with each repetition being labeled with letter A. Sit Sit It Sit is an example of a song with unitary form of music. Observe the melody of each stanza 
as we sing the song. Sitsirit si talibang bang, sa laginto at sa lagubang. Ang babae sa lansangan, kung gumiri parang tandang. Santo ninyo sa pandakan, potoseko sa tindahan. Kung ayaw mong magpautang, uubusin ka ng langgam. Mama, mama, namamang ka, masakayin niya ring bata. Pagdating sa Maynila, ipagpalit ng manika Ale-ale na mamayong, pasok po binyaring sanggol Pagdating sa Malabon, ipagpalit ng bagoong Did you observe the song's structure? Notice that all the stanzas have the same melody That is why they are all labeled A. And in that case, the song Sitsiritsit is in strophic or unitary form. The next one is binary form or AB form. Musical piece in binary form has two parts labeled A and B. Binary form is also called two-part form. Each section is different or contrast. Songs in binary form have a chorus or refrain, both beginning and ending. The main section or idea is labeled as A, and the contrast section or idea is labeled as B. Parong bukit Nalilipad-lipad Sa gitna ng daan Papagapagaspas Sambarang tapis Sandang ka lang Manggasang sayang Dikola Sampiasang sayat May painete pa siya May sukulay pa man din Nagwaste o he Ang palalabasin Haharap sa altar At mananalamin At sa kalalakad Ng pakendeng-kendeng Have you noticed that the two stanzas have different melodies? The first stanza is labeled A And the second stanza is labeled B and in that case, the song Parong Parong Bukit is in binary form. The next one is ternary form or ABA form. Songs in ternary or ABA form has three parts or sections. The beginning, the ending, and return. With the third section being similar to the first. This form is also called three-part form. Commonly, songs in ternary form have one main idea, and that is A, one contrasting idea, that is B, and a repetition of the main idea, and that is A. The initial A section represents the main idea. It is usually the first stanza of the song. The B section represents the contrasting idea. It is usually the second stanza with the different melody from the first stanza or the rest of the stanzas in the song. The final A section restates or repeats the main theme. This musical structure is common in Western music. Ang Pasko ay sumapit is an example of this section. Ang Pasko ay sumapit, tayo ay mga sayawin ng magagandang higit dahil sa Diyos ay pag-ibig ng si Pisto Yesi Si Dan 
Did you observe the song structure? There are three stanzas in that song. Notice that the first stanza and the third stanza have the same melody. That is why they are labeled A. The second stanza has different melody. That is why it is labeled B. Take note of the order. It is A, B, A. And in that case, the song Ang Pasko ay sumapit is in ternary form. So the fourth one is rondo form or ABACA form. Musical keys in rondo form has contrasting sections in between repetitions of the A section. One section, that is A, returns repeatedly or at least repeated twice with a section of new music that is B and C before each repetition. Rondo or ABACA is made up of five or more musical parts with some repetitions. Let us hear the song Maligayang Ara. Did you familiarize yourself with the song? In this song, there are three stanzas. 
the first stanza is labeled A. The second one is labeled B. And the third stanza is labeled C. Meaning, all the three stanzas have different melodies. But pay attention to the order of the song. We sang the first stanza. Then, to the second stanza. Went back to the first. And then to the third stanza. And finally, end at the first stanza. And we came to the order A, B, A, C, A. And in that case, the song Maligayang Araw is in Rondo form. Alright! Are you ready for an exercise, kids? That's great! Now let's have one. And this is the direction. Identify the concept that is being described. Write only the letter of the correct answer on your paper. And you will be given 5 seconds to answer each. Here's the first one. This is the form also known as AB. And these are our choices. Letter A, binary form. Letter B, form. Letter C, rondo form. Letter D, ternary form. And letter E, unitary or strophic form. Timer starts now. Alright, the correct answer is letter A. That is binary form. Now let's move on to number 2. This form is sometimes called A or A A A. Again, our choices are letter A, binary form, letter B, form, letter C, run the form, and letter D, ternary form, letter E, unitary or strophic form. Timer starts now. And the correct answer is letter E, that is unitary or strophic form. Let's move on to number 3. It is the design or structure of a song. Choices, letter A, binary form, letter B, form, letter C, run the form, letter D, ternary form, and letter E, unitary or strophic form. Timer starts now. And the answer is letter B, that is form. Let's move on to number 4. It is called ABA form and consists of 3 sections. Letter A, binary form. Letter B, form. Letter C, run the form. Letter D, ternary form. Letter E, unitary or strophic form. Timer starts now. And the answer is letter D, that is ternary form. Now let's move on to number 5. It is made up of 5 or more musical parts with some repetitions. Again, the choices are letter A, binary form, letter B, form, letter C, run the form, letter D, ternary form, letter E, unitary or strophic form. Timer starts now. And the answer is letter C, that is run the form. Now let's move on to second exercise. Analyze the musical form of the song that will be played. Write strophic, binary, ternary, or rondo. And you will be given 5 seconds to 
write your answer on your paper. So the first one is Bahay Kubo. Bahay Kubo, kahit unti ang halaman doon ay sari-sari si kabas at talong, si garilyas at mati, si tao ba? Okay, so timer starts now. And the answer is strophic or uni third. Let's move on. Okay, so timer starts now. And the answer is binary. Did you get them all, kids? If yes, oh wow, that's cool. And this is where our lesson ends. I hope you have learned a lot. Again, I am Teacher Libby. And thank you for listening. Until our next episode, goodbye, have a good day, and God bless you.